This case represents how we do cataract surgery in the presence of a small pupil with the Malgugan ring made by MST Microsurgical. So the patient obviously has a small pupil. He is on Flomax Vivagius, which would also create a floppy iris picture. The case is started with optimal hypothetical with head number X found for oral sedation. We fill the eye with Keylon GP. Then we prepare the Malugan ring we're using a 6.25 millimeter nozzle we just retract it from its holding case we insert the bevel down distal portion of the pupil. And then we try to get the left ring to grab the pupillary border, the right ring to do the same. I attempt to get the trailing ring to engage the pupillary border, but it's too difficult. So I just remove the inserter. case we use a what I call a chopper and we grasp the last circle and gently place it so it engages the proximal pupil this gives us a nice atraumatic widening of the pupil We also increase our visibility by placing an octocode onto the corneal epithelium and using the octocode to attach to a vein and cystic film to create our capsulorexis. This surgical video is edited. The total surgical time is about 12 to 13 minutes. Cystosome is attached to syringeal ocular, which is my preferred display. We do normal hydrodissection. We use a signature phaco multiplication system on phaco PDC levels and vaccine which is very good for preventing vaccine in the interest of time I don't show all the phaco multiplication 
have removed the nucleus. And there's our iris coming out due to the IFAS reaction. Uh, no big deal. We've got our malignant ring kind of holding and supporting the pupil. So we introduce our IA instrument made with a silicone tip sleeve made by MSC Microsurgical. This is where the Malugan ring really pays off because it makes getting rid of the equatorial cortex very easy and forgiving. It makes a complex situation very familiar and very simple. like the silicone tip because it is very capsule friendly and has helped to reduce our rate of posterior capsule events. We're able to polish the posterior capsule just by massaging it with the silicone tip. There's our iris wanting to pop out of the phaco incision. No big deal. We manage it by placing some more viscoelastic into the capsular bag in preparation for inserting our Bauschen loan LI-61 AO monofocal lens implant with eight spheric optics. We stabilize the eye and do not widen our two point eight millimeter incision. We place the tip of the injection cartridge on the digital axis. Elastic, we can then use a collar button to free the proximal loop from the iris and then we try and remove it all in one motion. If it doesn't come out a 0.12 tooth forceps to grab the malugan ring and gently remove it with the knife. Using the malugan ring is a much more time efficient way of pupil expansion. However, it is a more cost, more costly way to achieve pupil expansion. Iris retractors can be reused. The Malugan ring, in my experience, cannot be reused. It's a one-use item. Iris retractors can be re-sterilized and used many times, thus making iris retractors more cost-effective but more time-intensive. So at the end of the case, we've got our normal physiologic myotic pupil as we try to hydrate and inflate the anterior chamber we can see the iris wanting to herniate out of the keratome incision but we're able to manage it got a nice case and post-operative